Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the pre-presser for the Zimbabwe versus Oman Super Six game right here at Queen Sports Club. For Zimbabwe, we have a betting coach, Stuart Matsukinyere, ready to take your questions. Stuart, the team must be in an absolutely wonderful state of mind. Everything must be so positive after uh, everything that's happened in the first stage of the tournament. Yeah, uh, like I said, the, the team is in a good space. We yeah, like I said, the, the team is in a good space. Uh, guys have been playing good cricket, uh, not only in this tournament. Uh, I think it days back a, a couple of months. Uh, we've been playing some positive cricket. So, yeah, the guys are looking forward to the game tomorrow. One thing to ask particularly, Stuart, obviously the, the pitches in Harare, they were absolutely outstanding for batting and your players took great advantage of that. The pitches here at Queen's have been a little bit different. Are you aware of that and, and the challenges to come because of that? Yeah, we've seen that it's uh, generally been a bit slower here. It took a, it's taken a little bit more turn than Harare. Um, we are aware of that. Uh, but uh, the one thing that we've been talking about for a period of time now is for, for guys to be able to solve problems. So, you know, when we get out there tomorrow, guys are well equipped uh, to solve the problems that, that will be in front of them, you know, to make the best out of the game. What do you know about Oman? Because obviously you haven't had many opportunities to come up against Oman in the past. Not many, but we did play them in the, in the warm-up match in, in Harare. Uh, but, you know, our attitude is about respecting each and every opponent that we, we face. Um, you know, our, our, our captains are very, very big on that, on respecting the game of cricket. Um, so no matter who we face, uh, you know, we, we treat them as, a, as the best of cricketers as, as they come. But we did play them in Harare, and uh, they, they put out a, a good showing against us. I think we scored 360. We only beat them by 28 runs, so we know we've got a... We've got a big game ahead of us tomorrow. Now, Stuart, one of, the, one of the fashions of the tournament so far has been for captains to win the toss and bowl first. That's been something that's been very common. Um, why do you think that is? Uh, because there's been no great trend for sides winning matches, batting first or batting second. And do you think that's something that will continue here in Bulawayo? I don't particularly think that there's something that will continue, but uh, the, you know, the concession has, has been uh, winter wickets. You expect them to, to, uh, to be a bit more lively in, in mornings. Uh, but I, I think in both venues, we've, uh, in both cities rather, we've seen that the, the toss hasn't been too much of a, of a factor, which is, you know, I suppose, credit to the, to the ground staff. Uh, you know, they've done a, a wonderful job to to have facilities as such. So no, I don't think, uh, you know, it, it's certainly not going to bother us whether we, we bowl or, or, or bat first. We are just going to have to put our best foot forward and play the best cricket we can, whichever way we, we go first. Now, Stuart, you've carried four points forward into this Super 6 stage. Do you have a, a, a points tally in mind to get to the top two? Is it two wins out of three and, and you're almost certainly there? Or is it just taking one game at a time? So absolutely not. Um, uh, coming into this tournament and, and everything we've done over, over the last nine months or so is uh, taking, we, we want to win every game that we play. Of course, we are where we got, uh, we got we've carried four points coming into, into the Super Six, which is great. Uh, but still, for us, the most important game is tomorrow against Oman. And uh, it won't be any different when we play Sri Lanka or Scotland. Um, we want to win absolutely everything we, um, you know, every match we play. Obviously, you came close to qualification in the tournament here in 2018. And you had two bites at the cherry there to, to get through to the last two and weren't able to do it. I think you lost to the West Indies and then uh, the UAE. Is that something that's been spoken about, trying to sort of get rid of those ghosts of five years ago, or, or is that old news now? No, look, we haven't spoken much about that. Uh, I think the, the last answer I gave you sort of uh, explains that for us, it's, uh, it's, every game is important. If anything, 2018 would have, uh, would have taught us the, those lessons. You, you never take anything or anyone um, for granted. Everybody here is... Uh, is here to play international cricket and um, you know as many wins as we can get on the international circuit goes a long way for us and, and in building our confidence and uh, you know obviously for us I mean there's a bigger picture we, we, we're trying to create heroes uh, within our side so that we have we have more numbers coming to play cricket and 
you know, there they, they are uh, big things to play for. Obviously, Mandende is out of the side uh, with that shoulder injury he suffered. Joy Lord kept um, in, in the last couple of games. Is he going to continue behind the stumps for tomorrow's match? Yeah, it was really, really unfortunate that we lost Clive there. Um, yeah, but Joy Lord has, uh, has done a good job behind. Uh, he was very tidy in Harare. Um, we yeah, would expect him to continue with uh, with gloves, but we've got Nyasha Mayao now in the in the squad as well as cover. Um, so yeah, you know we've we've got our bases covered there. And what about the fitness of the squad um, that apart? Obviously, Craig Irvine missed the last game against uh, the USA. Yeah. Is he going to be fit for for tomorrow's game? Yeah, everyone is good to go. Um, everyone is ready for uh, for selection. Obviously, Craig spent a lot of time on out on the pitch. I think the first uh, two games he literally uh, played a big part in in, in those two hundred overs or so. Um, but yeah, he's he's ready to go. Um, just aches and pains here and there, but but he's fine. And what are you expecting from the crowd here in Bulawayo? Obviously, there were full houses for you in Harare. The crowds were absolutely fantastic. It's going to be the first time that Zimbabwe have played one day international cricket here since 2018 against uh, Pakistan. Yeah. What are you expecting from uh, Bulawayo, the city, and, uh, and the crowds here? Are you expecting big crowds? Yeah, nothing less than we, we, we got in Arare. You know, we, we haven't played much international cricket in, in Bloy. I mean, COVID has had much to do with that. But in the past, when Zimbabwean teams have turned out here, the Bloy crowd has been has been fantastic. Um, so, you know, we, we're expecting uh, a pretty similar sort of vibe. So looking forward to that. Coach, coming into this one, what has been the pressure like as the host nation and as well being given uh, 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 sort of coming like secondary to the West Indies as the favourites, of which now I think now you have taken the tagline as the favourites for this tournament. What has that put you under? Which type of pressure? Uh, look, <laughs> something that we, we spoke about a, a while ago, once uh, you're playing international cricket, international cricket pressure is going to be uh, available uh, but what this team has done is embrace that um, and and you know the the head coach is quite big on on playing for our fans uh, you know playing a brand of cricket that they 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 would like to come out to the grounds and and watch and uh, that's what we've taken on um, you know pressure is always on but we embrace it and uh, and we enjoy it and we carry on all right, then now looking at the size that is played, there were a little bit of questions concerning Tatara playing and most people advocating for his replacement with Brad Evans, which we saw him in the USA game. He did well uh, in the way in which he bowled. Would we be expecting changes to the side coming into the Super 6 or are you going to stick with the team that has got you the results? That's the beauty of sport, isn't it? When, you, when, when you've got a team of 11 out there, sometimes... A number of players are going to struggle. Some are going to do well. Um, but Tendai Chatara has done well for us, uh, you know, for, for a number of years. And, you know, you can't doubt the men. Look at what he came out and he did for us against West Indies. Um, you know, he's a quality player. Uh, but, you know, we back each and every um, member in our, in our 15 men squad. Brad came out and he did a fantastic job in the, in the game against USA and so did Luke Jongwe. You know, um, we, you know we, we, we've got literally 15 that we can... Um, we can pick from that will do a job. So, you know, it's about, um, you know, when we sit down later on and, and, and we we'll think which, which way we're going, but really we're not bothered with uh, who goes in or who, who doesn't. Just picking up on Brian's question on having last played here in 2018, would that sort of like put you at a lesser disadvantage, although that you, you are the host that you're now playing in a ground that you haven't spent that much time on that it sort of like puts you at even with the rest of the teams that are playing here? Look, um, our guys would have played uh, some uh, domestic cricket uh, on this ground now and again, maybe not so much as, uh, uh, as, the, as the full international side, uh, but the conditions here are not going to be strange um, to our guys. So we'll be okay. So we, uh, the, the defense, in Harare, they, they were something else. But mm. Bulawa is the city of kings and beautiful queens. It's mm. going to be maybe like that. What's your message to the fans? Ah, same, really. Come out and enjoy some, uh, some entertaining cricket from, uh, from the boys. And the boys, uh, they are always going to need their fans to be backing them. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing them turn out in their numbers. 
Thank you, guys. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you very much. Yes, yes.